I, I do respect what you are doing. And I, I'll make this clear now. It's going to upset a bunch of people. You are trying to purge the space of fakers. Right. And you're doing that because you love the space and you believe in the space. And you are going out on a limb to purge the entire space from fakers. And whenever I'm asked about that, I have to say, look, I respect the man for standing up what he believes in and trying to purge the space of people who are talking shit. Because it's full of people doing that. So I do respect your mission. I Thanks, respect man. what you're doing. I, I do respect it. what Big you're time, doing. Man. I respect that. what you're doing. Fuck yeah. I respect yeah, it. Yeah, I'm kill them all. Roast them all. <laughs> not, not kill them all. Roast them all. Yeah. Burn them all. But, yeah. but, but I like to think that hopefully as time goes on, Hopefully, as more qualified people come to prominence, yeah. that the, that the amount of money these guys make at least completely tanks. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I think it's already kind of getting there. Like yeah. when I released my, I had money before products, right? I didn't need to sell products to make money. I right now my biggest income is not courses. I'm not a guy who needs to sell courses to make money. I have other things going on. However. When I released my PhD course, I, I made I sold a lot. That's of the courses. pimping hose degree. Pimping hose degree, yeah. PhD, yeah. And that was PhD. and that was about me teaching how that wasn't even about picking up women. That was about me teaching when I had my webcam business. If anyone's watching this and doesn't know, I'm about to surmise a very large period of my life in about two minutes. I had uh, the the first big money I ever made in my life. I first became a multimillionaire by running a webcam studio. So I had beautiful women sitting on computers talking to guys on webcams from all around the world. That's how I first made my money. And at one point, I had 75 women in four locations working for me, which was stressful and the, wor the wrong way to do it. I ended up removing my army and going to special forces of around 15 people, 15 girls. And me and my brother made a lot of money doing that. But the PhD course, the Pippin Ghost degree, was teaching me, was teach me teaching people how I managed females in those scenarios, mm -hmm. how I controlled their emotions, how I convinced them to work and give me most of their money, how I convinced them to share me with other women, why they obeyed me. So it was never so much about out there picking up girls. It was actually yeah. something else. It was more about the psychology of things. And I had a bunch of guys who bought the PhD and were like, I've applied this to my marriage and my marriage is fantastic. Yeah. Like even though it's like pimp and hose, yeah. it's actually far more to do with just dynamics of men and women yeah. as a whole. But Which when I- Much more universal and fundamental. Much more universal. But when I released that, I did, I did very, very well with that. So when people, when I see some of these guys trying to like push their courses and stuff, I know there's no way on God's green earth they did a fraction of what I did with my Dude, life. they actually charge more than you, and they fuck fat women. Yeah. Since it pisses me off. I'm like, dude, Tate at least fucks hot women, and yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. These guys fuck nothing but a few ugly fat women, and then they charge all it's like dude, Yeah, I know, but and I know sick. they probably think they're making a lot of money, but if they were legit like I went like I am, like yeah. I don't want to really say numbers, but my numbers are in the millions with courses. Nice. So like fuck like yeah. that if you're le actually legit about it, yep. you can make a lot. So they're, they're they're nowhere near me, right? So they'll get the odd complete idiot. Now you mentioned too the purging and stuff. My hope is that if the world doesn't fucking end this decade, yeah. you know all the great reset bullshit we'll get into in a minute, that the manosphere I'll be able to clean it up over this decade, yeah. purge it. You know, not perfect, but pretty close. We need to. Purge, we just purge, purge. need to instigate. We need to instigate a culture of receipts, and we need to instigate yeah. a culture of honesty. And what we need to do, the biggest thing we need to do.